I'm so glad you're here. Let's play Sally Survival Story Season 5 on Mount Olympus. a few things to the castle. I've made the walls a little taller and today is going to be a building episode because I haven't done one of those in a while. I'm going to start off with some shout outs though. Dun 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 dun. Okay, so, oh, hi guys. Hello, it's a party. We're having a party. Excuse me. Excuse me. Boop. Okay, thank you. <laughs> We're gonna put it over here. Okay, so my shout out today, first of all, goes to all the dads. Because it's Father's Day. So happy Father's Day to all the dads out there. If you're in the United States and I think the Philippines and I'm not sure where else. But today um, is Father's Day. So happy Father's Day, especially to the rabid Mingo, who is my kid's dad. <laughs> if you missed an episode with him, we just played Roblox together. If you're not into Roblox, I understand. But we just did a video. It was really funny. Um, you can check that out on the channel. It was just posted a little bit ago. And I want to shout out. This is from YouTube Comments. And this is to Sweet Stuff. And Sweet Stuff, for the last three videos, has very faithfully asked for a shout out for her, their BBF, their very best friend, Elia. I'm not sure how you say it. E I L I Y A. So um, they've asked a million times, and I replied, and I was like, I know I've seen it. You've asked a million times for the shout out for your friends. So a uh, shout out to Sweet Stuff and to Ilya. And so if you would like a shout out on the shout out wall, do not ask for yourself. Nominate if somebody else for a shout out, and I might pick you to be on the wall. So we have all the dads for Father's Day. Um, move, please. <sighs> Thanks. Um, all the dads for Father's Day, Sweet Stuff, Eliaya. Nope, you too, move. Um, Emily Watkins, Isabella, Wubsy, Tenkle Merriam, um, Waffles Green, Otto, my, oh, Otto, Otti Mobot, <laughs> um, Effect Ace, Mark Danny, Jazzy, um, and then everyone from the Discord server, and I forgot, um, Mecky, and I forgot, and I forgot who else I forgot, I'm sorry, so shout out to all the staff on Mount Slippus, uh, to Alanis and Avril, to KFC, to Angela Anthony, to, to, to Kanaya, and to Adrian, and so the, the shout out wall will continue to fill up. Now, I'm not gonna do a shout out every single episode. I'm gonna kind of mix it up a little bit. Sometimes I'll do it at the beginning of an episode, sometimes I'll do it at the end of an episode. Um, I need more glass than this. Sometimes um, I won't do a shout out because we're doing something else in the episode, but more than likely, do I have more sand? Okay, I knew. Good. Um, so. I will um, do a little bit of building here. We started, let me show you what we did. So we started adding some windows. So John built these little steps so you could see out the window because the ground on that side is a little bit higher than this. So it was hard to, we couldn't really, if you built the window right here, you're looking at people's feet. <laughs> so we have this little window here. We put little windows by each of the doors so we can see who's knocking on the door when somebody wants to come by. Um, I don't want gifts. Thanks. Um, I'm not accepting presents from people because um, I can buy my own stuff because um, we have jobs on Mount Olympus and there's a shop. So we also built this wall here. Oh, we need to fix the road. I wonder who owns that part. We need to fix this. Um, so we built this little like glass here because we wanted to be people to see inside and to see the pretty garden we have going on. Um, and then I did this row of windows over here by the chickens. So I think that that kind of opened stuff up just a little bit. Kind of nice. And so we made this little area right here. It's a barbecue pit. This is kind of cool. But it actually cooks if you use the furnace, which is neat. So, um, and then I was continuing the row of windows on this side. The only problem is, um... I have absolutely no room on just the block outside my castle. So my boundary is this wall. Um, so I can't build anything that overhangs at all. <laughs> so I have to stick to exactly this flat surface, which is kind of kind of limiting um, because people have claimed the land like literally right up against my castle. And I was gonna continue the walls of windows um, probably all the way around, but this part of the of my um, house, you can see her 
This is not very interesting. Oh, it was this one. Um, is the back of the dirt house that is John's little house. So it's not very interesting to look at. <laughs> um, so anyway, this is what I want to do in this episode is I wanted to build a second story up on the castle. So I'm going to build a little bit of scaffolding so we can easily kind of uh, get up and down um, off of the castle. Hi. Do you have more dirt? This is my son, John. Get more dirt. This is kind of our summer project this year, I guess. <laughs> it's working at Mount Olympus. Oh, thank you. I know I have enough. Thank you. Um, okay, so we're gonna build a second story. Oh, I had continued. Oh, I need to get some more bricks. Hold on. More bricks. More bricks. Um, so I had continued raising the wall, and because I wanted to make the second story really high, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make it. Um, where there's a big skylight in the middle made of glass because I still want like sunlight to reach this bottom area So this bottom area is gonna kind of be open uh, Where my son can kind of build whatever he feels like building and then the second area I'm gonna make look more polished upstairs more refined a little bit um, With more decoration and that kind of thing. So that's kind of my idea. Okay, so let me get some more of these bricks so I can finish the wall and um, I'm gonna make the outside edge out of wood. So let me just collect all of these things. Let me take a crafting table up there too, just in case I wanna change stuff up. Um, I'm either gonna have to buy more wood or I'm gonna have to collect more wood because we are gonna need a whole bunch. <laughs> oh, I could use these ladders. I can make ladders too. That would be a good idea. Hmm. Oh, and with the 1.12 update, so every time you basically touch a new block or like add it to your inventory, it gives you a new crafting recipe um, here in the book. So I figured out how to use it. <laughs> I was like, how do you use the crafting book? Like, I have no idea. So, um, yeah, so all of these things will show you how to craft it, which I kind of already know anyway how to craft most of this stuff. Um, it's just the new 1.12 things that I wasn't sure of the recipe for, but I'm pretty sure I've got all of this like figured out so um anyway that's the new crafting book it's pretty cool so um oh we also have jobs so i think they changed the jobs interface aha okay so i'm already i believe i'm already a woodcutter am i not did it reset the jobs let me ask did jobs reset okay so i was a woodcutter and a miner um so i think i want to stick with that that's how i've gotten the month do i have to pick a new one do i have to Pick a new job. Uh, I don't know if there's any staff on right now to answer that question. Uh, Danny's here, but I don't know if she's here. Okay. Um, but anyway, so with that job, I have money. And so with money, you can go to slash shop. And you can purchase items. So, like, um, I will go... Because I'm a woodcutter, so I will go cut down trees, so that'll give me some more money. But you can do things like, we don't actually have to go, like, collect ice or magma blocks or netherrack. Like, we can just purchase it. Like, these kind of basic building blocks. Um, even, like, um, even things like diamonds and iron. Like, you don't necessarily, if you have the money from doing your job, you don't necessarily have to go mining for it. I mean, unless your job's a miner or something like that. So um, if you earn money for your job, you can buy these things without having to go out into the wild and um, collect them, which is actually pretty convenient for me just in terms of the series and trying to keep the series going because I don't have to spend a whole lot of time um, actually going out and collecting resources to bring you guys the end product, which is awesome. Okay, so we're gonna get this stuff going. What did I cook? Did I cook more glass? Yes. Okay, good. It's like, I need lots of glass. I want a big skylight in the middle. Um, okay, so we're going to go up here. And I kind of envision like a wooden platform that comes out probably like to here. I don't know how many blocks that is. Um, and then the skylight's going to be most of the middle. And then um, the building is going to be around the edges, basically. So are you building an actual staircase? <gasps> That is so cute. Oh, my son's building a real staircase up here. That is adorable. Oh my goodness, excuse me. Thank you. <laughs> like I couldn't place my stuff. All right, so to build this up one more to make it all even, because I'd started over here, which I think is fine. I mean, one or two more higher is not gonna hurt anything. I might even do a third story and just make this like super tall. Um, I didn't wanna spend the entire episode just making the, um, nope, no gifts. Thank you though. I don't, I want to earn it myself. <laughs> I want to earn it myself. I don't want to take people's stuff. I want to earn 
it myself. Nope. I already have a crown, thank you. Um, especially diamond, I don't want to take diamond. Gold is easier to like come across. I didn't want to take the gold helmet, but I don't want to take the diamond helmet. So um, yeah, so I'm trying to get all of this, either earn it by making money, um, or I don't really want to accept a whole ton of handouts. Like I want to actually play. <laughs> so that's a thing. Um, all right, so we're gonna finish building out this wall and then I'm gonna do a little bit of building. I'm gonna make a cut and just show you guys like the end result of what I'm working on this time. Wow, you can really see how Greentown has grown. It is crazy. Oh, I love this shop. That shop looks so good. There's actually, um, a really cool, I think they call it a nether shop that uh, utilizes some of the terracotta bricks that looks absolutely beautiful. I was like, oh my goodness, this is like the best use of, oh, I'm out of bricks? Oh no, I'm not, okay. I was like, this is the best use of terracotta I think I've seen in forever. <laughs> so it's so cool. Okay, so I'm gonna do a little bit of building. I'll make a cut and I'm gonna be right back and I'll show you the result. Ah! <laughs> Okay, so this is gonna take a really long time. <laughs> I might have to just build the base of it off camera um, and then come back and finish like the details and stuff like that on camera. But this is kind of the idea. So there would be the edges of the um, actual floor plan. So I could probably do several rooms up here. This is really big, especially if this is gonna be completely enclosed. Um, and then this part, this glass part, my son's like, we should do different colored glass. And I'm like, yes, we should. Ah, I didn't even think about it. But just to kind of get the basis of it, and I'll have to find a silk touch um, pickaxe or something so I can get this glass back. Um, but, so this is kind of gonna be the sunlight for the bottom floor, for like the courtyard floor. Um, I might even leave the very center open. I don't know yet, I haven't really decided. So I gotta put the, the, the basic of it down and then kind of fix it up. And I'm gonna continue to put more details into the castle bottom as well. So um, anyway, so I hope you guys enjoyed this building episode of Sally's Survival Story. And happy Father's Day to all the dads out there. <laughs> and um, probably next time you'll see a lot more progress made on the building of my castle and then we'll also do some more tours because there are so many amazing builds in Greentown especially um, and it's just grown like crazy and everybody wants me to show their building on camera which is awesome I'd love to but it takes a lot of time to like follow people around and like see their stuff so um, I have so many great plans for this episode and I hear that Aphrodite the goddess here on Mount Olympus might have a task for me to complete. So um, yeah, we'll have to see about that. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you had as much fun watching this as we did playing it, and I will see you next time. Bye.